So in this video, I'm gonna be making a hammock out of yarn for my, for my yarn. Okay, I got this idea from this girl on TikTok. I'll give her credit right here and I'll put the picture of what I saw. She just like hung it in the corner of her room and it was brilliant. I've been like looking for like shelves or like something that can hold my yarn. I really haven't found anything that I like love shelving wise or anything. And this is like the first thing in like a couple weeks that I've been looking that I was like, wow, that looks amazing. And it's like so cheap. So this was like $10 for this. And I'm pretty sure this will cover like the entire thing, but we'll see. I'm gonna do it in the corner of my room, like over my bed. Oh. That's the weirdest sound. Now it's a little bit later. I have to preface, this is not a tutorial because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Just me trying it, okay? This is how long the chain is. This is 120 chains. Um, I feel like it might be a little bit long, but I'd rather have it too long than too short. I don't really know what this technique is called, but I've used it on so many other things. So I think I'm just gonna show you. Okay, I'm like so bad at explaining this. This is embarrassing. So I'm just gonna go back into one of these holes and then do one of these. Is that like a, what the fuck is that called? I think it might be a single crochet. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that 100 more times. And um, the size hook I'm using is a 6.5 millimeter. So I'm gonna actually try to get this done by tomorrow because if you know, actually you might not know, but I'm doing like a box series. Um, I bought this $10 box of yarn off the internet and I'm gonna create it, like I'm gonna create a clothing line from the yarn that I got from that box. Um, but the thing is, I don't want the box in my room anymore. It's just like sitting on my ground in my room and I don't want to like get it mixed up with my other yarn so I'm just keeping it in that one box but I'm gonna move all that yarn above my bed in the hammock um so I think that would just like give me a lot of storage space for my yarn and I can see myself making one for every single corner of my room which is concerning yeah I think that video is gonna take me a full on year to make so that's gonna be like really that's gonna be really cool okay so that's what it looks like so I now finished this so it's like that thick now it's only 7.30, so I can get done a lot in this time. So once I'm done with that, I'm on the end, I just chained five. Now we're gonna do like a triple crochet. I actually don't know my terms, so don't listen to me. But I'm gonna do one of these. Loop around twice, flip your work around also. Go around twice, and then go into, so one, two, three, go into that one. Um, and then, you know, chain over. That's not what it's called, but okay. <laughs> Chain two, one, two, three, go into the third one, pull through, go through the first two, go through the second two, go through the third. Now we got that. I'm just gonna repeat that for the whole time. Okay, I'm now done with the first row. So this is what it's supposed to look like. I kind of started the second row. Should not be filming this. This should never be seen on video and especially on the internet. It's the next night. So this is what I did last night, which is honestly like kind of a lot. So I did all of this last night. I did eight rows. I'm like thinking that it's, I'm gonna have to do 20 rows. change those pictures up there it's very 2018 i didn't finish it last night i got a little sleepy so this is what i have so far i did do like two rows i think so i have one two three so i have 12 so i have eight more to go and then i'm gonna see where i'm at then maybe today i can put it up okay so it's three o'clock right now so maybe i'll get to put it up today who knows i have like this much yarn left yeah i'm hoping i'll have extra so i can make like a smaller one but that'll probably be for a different day. I've never done a pattern, like wrote out a pattern in my life, but I feel like this one would be pretty easy. Maybe I'll try to do that and I'll put it on my Etsy or something. Who knows what I'm gonna do because I never know what I'm gonna do. But there's a storm outside today. Perfect day to sit in and crochet. Like I, I'm a sucker for the rain. It's been pretty rainy this winter and it's gonna be rainy for like the next week. It is Friday today. It's gonna rain tomorrow and possibly Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
it's gonna rain. I couldn't be more stoked about it to be honest because I like love any excuse to stay home even though like when it's raining like people still live their lives and stuff but like to me I'm like yeah I'm, I'm sitting home all day. Now I'm gonna watch a movie. Don't know what I'm gonna watch. I started watching Outer Banks last night while I was doing it. I watched like the first four episodes. Yeah I watched a lot already and I had to stop it because I was like if I go through this whole season in one night it's a little mutt but I'm kind of wanting to watch a movie. If you guys have any good movies please comment them down below because I love a good movie, especially romantic comedies. Those are actually my favorite, like early 2000s romantic comedies. There's, there's seriously like nothing better than that. Um, there's my camera shut off again. So I don't know if I showed this in this video, but I got this thing from Amazon and it like sticks onto a window. So embarrassing. But the more I'm like looking at it, it looks like one of those like kid toys where you like, you know, like the little iPad babies that are like obsessed with plastic bubble things. I don't know what they're called. There's like that big Among Us one. I don't. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Get outside. Look at how much it's pouring. That's crazy. I hate the foam in my coffee. It's like a lot. And I was like, Ugh, and it spilled all over me. But look at that. This is like the weirdest sweater. I love it so much with all my heart. But why did it do that? Like why did the stains come out so easily? Like you would have never known. I just put water on it. It's a miracle. I mean you guys just watched it like completely fall so like it's a little different than you just saw it but I actually think that was like a blessing in disguise because I feel like this looks a lot better I stretched it out like more that way so it's not like literally drooping right above my head when I sleep I just feel like that just looks way better I can see the yarn more and yeah so that's the finished product I think I want to make like a smaller one on the top but that'll be for another time um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!